So we're going to create an HTML form and then we will pass the HTML form information into a JSP page. So we're going to create a new web page but this time we're going to create an HTML page. We're going to call this HTML page sign in sheet. Will be a sign in sheet HTML page. The HTML page will have a form you can give form a name however the more important things are the method that you would use so we're going to use the post method and action will going to be sign in sheet dot JSP we still need to create this page so it's quite possible you can have two pages with the same name but different file extensions. When you run this page locally within the browser, the date type doesn't work here because it doesn't support HTML5. So you can copy the URL, you can address bar and now you will see that it does support HTML5. As you can see that for date, it shows you the HTML5 built-in control for date which allows you to pick a date from a calendar. So now let me create the JSP page. So I will going to create a new web page. This time I will choose JSP and this page will be sign in sheet. Make sure the sign in sheet even to the case matches the way the action property states it. and then you hit the finish for this page to be created. <clears throat> the sign-in sheet we're going to declare variables full name or objects I should say full name major and p date which is the preferred date and the JSP will read these values from the form elements. Which JSP object can ask data from HTML form? Request. And which method of request? Get parameter. And within the double quotes you need to provide the name of the form element from where you want this data to be transferred. Okay, so when we use the URL approach, we pass the name of the variable in the URL. When you get it from a form, you provide the form element name. And something similar to this you might have learned in PHP, Chad, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't belittle it by saying a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we have P date, major, and in my HTML form, I also called it here. Pref date is what I called, so I'm going to use the same name, pref date here. So to show you 
that the name of the variables and name of the form elements can be same but do not have to be same like in p date and pref date case So when you're done authoring the JSP page to test it, you will actually start the process from the HTML form. Because this is the HTML form which is submitted to the JSP page which then processes that information. So bring on server the HTML form. If you already have it up, please refresh it. And then you fill up the form, you fill in the form and then you hit the submit button so that the JSP page gets called and this sign-in sheet will be available on the screen to be printed. So grab the URL. and it simply takes me to the next page fills in the details wherever it needs to fill in and then I can print out and take it with me our next step would be to use some CSS to beautify the look and feel of the form this page and in order to do that we're going to go back to our JSP page and right here we're going to add some style. This is inline style that I'm adding. And the division that holds this whole form, I'm also going to style that. So once you're done with these changes, you can simply refresh your output if you already have it running, otherwise you can rerun the HTML page so that it takes you to the JSP page and you can see the output. Okay. 